I remember having to portray myself at this macho look. <laughs> oh my god, I remember going to the gym three to four times a week. I wish I was just told myself, be yourself. My name is Lily Velez. I am 40 years old. I'm a woman of trans experience and I live here in Miami, Florida. Oh my god, my bobber bike. I was vice champion of uh, archery in Ecuador. What a change. I was born in Ecuador in Guayaquil. I lived there for basically my childhood. For me, looking at myself in the mirror at this moment, it's it's such an amazing feeling to see yourself now. It's, it's hard to describe. You just feel happy to understand that your mind and your body are finally one. Ever since I was four, I knew that there was something different. Uh, I knew that there was something about me that didn't click with the image that I was presenting. In Ecuador, it is embedded in your head that anything LGBTQIA plus related is actually negative. It's actually something that you want to steer away from. I was playing basketball, I was playing football, soccer, you name it. If it was considered manly, I was out there, I was doing it. It's like that click that doesn't matter how hard you try to fit into the body that you have, it still doesn't match the brain that you have. I've been married twice. I have uh, three amazing little kids. Oh my gosh, Billy. Uh, this is my firstborn. I wish they were still little. <laughs> my oldest child is part of the community and my biggest thing is just provide guidance. It's not about what I think, it's what they think. The journey started first as I may be a lesbian to I actually identify as non-binary to then maybe I am more of a trans man to then, you know what, I'm definitely non-binary and gender fluid. And that's the biggest misconception that sometimes parents feel that you're hurting your kid by allowing them to be themselves. No, you're actually helping them. You're guiding the kids. You're guiding them through this journey that is not easy. For me, going through dealing with people telling me that it's a phase, that it's not real, that I'm going to get over it, that I'm moving too quickly and that they're afraid that I'm going to regret going through my transition. I knew this since I was four. For so long, you had to hide it to fit in until it gets to the point in which you say, why do I need to conform with society? Why do I need to conform with the expectations from people around me? And that's when you decide, I'm done. This is me, take it or leave it. So I've been working on my legal name change. And yesterday at around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. I got the email from the court stating that the final judgment has passed and I am legally and officially Lily Ann Velas. When anyone asks me about our friendship, I just say she's the bravest, truest person that I know. Mm -hmm. And it's inspiring, you know? Like, imagine how many other lives you're going to help, you know, just from you being yourself. Right for me is this incredible opportunity that the community has to come together and tell the world we are one. We need to be together. After all, Pride was always a riot. Pride was always a standing for our rights. For me, in the trans community, it's the opportunity to say, we're not gonna continue debating our existence. This is who we are. You can like it, you cannot like it. No one's telling you to be part of it. You can turn around and look the other way. But I'm not gonna stop being myself and I'm not gonna stop living my life just because you are not in agreement.